What is crapping in people? It's Saturday, August, something or other. I don't know what the date is, but anyway, we're here. And I've been working on this 350 that will soon be a 383 stroker. And uh, yeah, I still haven't made those adapters for the engine stand yet. I got to thinking if I'm gonna have to make that, I'm gonna make an entire plate that covers the whole back of that engine that there'll be a bolt hole for each one of those and then the plate right here there'll be four holes for it to bolt to to that I think it'd be safer anyway but overlook the mess I got model cars sitting everywhere those are all going to a new home and I got a box full here that need to go back into my stash. But yeah. So let me set the camera up. We're going to get busy. Okay, see you in a minute. This is the head that I just pulled and there is the chamber it's open and I don't know what the CC is however Paul Lyons um, he's from one of them TV car shows I forget the name of it um, was telling me that these heads after I give him the head numbers are good to use for if you're building an engine that's got a blower on top of it which I'm not doing on this build. So with that information, I'm going to save these. And if I ever decide to build one and use these heads, I've got them. But here is, look, I mean, look how filthy. I can't believe this. Actually, I'm kidding. It's really clean. Beautiful in there. 
And then here's the cylinders. Got a little dirt in there from where I blew everything off the top of the engine before I pulled the intake, but still some stuff fell down in there from the heads. But anyway, does that look like a factory um, piston? I can't remember, I gotta look it up. Anyway, um, I'm sure, what's his name over at Classic Car Revivals will let me know if that's a stock piston or not. But yeah, so, all right, so I'm gonna get this other head off and um, then I'll be back. So don't go nowhere, we are just getting started. All right, folks, we are back. Got the other head off, the gasket off. Uh, I did look, those are factory um, pistons. So this is obviously for a uh, four inch bore as opposed to some of them being 3.50. Um, unless I looked at the wrong website, from what I saw, these are factory pistons or maybe they were bought new and put in this because this engine hasn't been rebuilt for long. I mean, you can just tell it's just beautiful on the inside here. These lifters, at least this one, there's no uh, like dome where it's worn out in the center on this one. Um, it's really flat like it should be, but yeah, all right. I am going to flippy flippy the camera around and let you guys see my beautiful face. And because uh, Lord knows you ain't gonna see any beautiful faces coming out of Big Falls, Minnesota this weekend at that car show. So I'm doing you guys a favor by letting you see me. This way you at least have something to write home about, okay? So hang on, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. This video's been the best make-a-wish video you could ever ask for. <laughs> yes. Anyway, I'm just kidding. Uh, all right, so does anybody have one of these? Oh, crap. No, I don't have one. This is a palm ratchet, half-inch drive. Or, I'm sorry, three-inch drive. If you're getting into places that's hard to get to, get the bolt broke loose, and use this and click, 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 click. Anyway, yeah. One of my nifty little tools I've been using. Um, so I appreciate everybody hanging out, um, watching this and my goofiness. And uh, if you do have any of those brackets that you use on a, on a engine stand, please get a hold of me through email. It's on my uh, YouTube channel in the about section. Or you can just simply find me on Instagram at Mill Creek Fab Shop. Or you can email me at uh, Joey Collins 97200 at doglover.com. And I'll put it right here in the bottom of the screen. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, back to the, the Minnesota Car Show. I'm glad they're having it. It's the seventh annual. Uh, next year will be the eighth annual, but I doubt we'll be there. Um, well, I, I doubt any of us will be here. Well, except for the ones that get left behind. I mean, if you're not a Christian, when, when Jesus returns in the clouds, you're done. Your only hope after that is pure faith because there won't be none left on this earth. Nor mercy or forgiveness or anything. Anyhow, about ugliness in Minnesota. It has come to my attention through Arco's mother that as a child, because he's so ugly, she had to make him do trigger treating over the telephone. I know it's horrible. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. But yeah, just try not to look at him when you're watching his videos. I understand, it's hard for me to. That's why I'm doing this video. I want you guys to have something beautiful and handsome to look at this weekend. But until next time, take care, God bless, and uh, 
If you have enemies, pray for them. That's the best thing to do. That's like reaping coals upon their forehead. But, all right. Later, guys. God bless. Bye.